In your answer a few moments ago, uh, to the gentleman over there, uh, you spoke about fear. Um, and it was about fear, and your answer was, be courageous. And, and then it stopped. And I would like to know more about it. Be courageous to... When that fear appears in context with emptiness. Yes. You see, the, the fear... What is the fear? It's the fear that this last remnant of the separate self is finally going to disappear. And with it, everything that we most value is going to go with it. So, what is the fear telling us to do? That having traced back our experience all the way to the, to, to the brink, the fear is telling us, no, don't go back any further go in the other direction towards objects again. What you really want is to be found through the acquisition of an object, substance, relationship, state of mind, etc. So the fear is telling the ego, no, go back out towards objects. And there is this strong pull when we feel fear to relieve the discomfort of it by going towards the object or state or relationship. So when I say courageous, I mean be courageous not to do what the fear is telling us to do, which is to go back out and seek security in an object or relationship. It is to do the opposite. Now, what does it mean, do the opposite? It means not to reject or avoid the fear, but to totally uh, allow the fear to remain present, but not to buy it. So, not, not to buy it? Not to buy it. In other words, not to do what it wants you to do. What the fear wants you to do is to go outwards and seek relief in an object. So it's the opposite of that. And the opposite of that means to, to n not resist the fear in any way. G going outwards towards the object is a way of denying the fear. It's a way of saying the fear is too unbearable, I can't stand it, I want relief from it in the object. So here we do the opposite, which is not to resist or deny the fear. We don't do anything to it at all. We don't try to relieve it, we don't try to get rid of it, we d because w what we're interested on in is on, on this side of the fear so that the fear can, can, can remain. I'm not suggesting that we get busy exploring the fear, not at all. We don't get busy exploring it, we don't get busy rejecting it. What we're interested in is what's behind the fear, that which knows the fear. So what, is, what, what requires, it's not the courage to do something, it's the courage not to do something. What should we not do? We should not resist or avoid the fear. So rather than thinking, I need the courage to do this, feel instead, I need the courage not to avoid my fear, not to resist it, to allow it to stay. And in this uh, allowing it to stay, This allowing, it, it neutralizes the fear. The fear is no, no longer something negative to be got rid of. It's obviously not a positive experience. It, it neutralizes it. And in this neutralization, its background becomes more evident. As long as we're resisting the fear, the fear is an, an obstacle. It, it's a, it seems to be what we are. But in this allowing, it is, it is neutralized, and as a result of that, we can fall backwards, or rather we can allow its background to, to, to shine. It's like if we, 
if we if we're watching a movie and the image that we're watching is so terrifying so dark and there's such a repulsion in us to the image it's almost impossible for us to see the screen because because of our discomfort with the image the discomfort with the image glues us to the image and seems to make the screen absent now if we keep looking at the image to such an extent that it becomes neutral when it becomes neutral its power to veil the screen is neutralized you don't have to turn the movie off but the neutrality of the image even if it's a terrible image allows the screen to it doesn't suddenly appear but it it becomes visible it's the same thing when the when the fear is neutralized we see that the the light of knowing that is actually shining not behind the fear but in the fear and as the fear so it's a kind of relaxation it's a being courageous not to avoid it rather than being courageous to do something.